Hello everyone, in today's video I'll... Hello everyone, in... You need to sit down. If you want to watch me film the video, you have to sit down because... Hello everyone, in today's video I'll go over everything I have bought for the past few months including items I bought on Black Friday of last year. I have a lot to show you guys so without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Before we start the video, please click the subscribe button below. Follow me on Instagram at very.snatch. I'll definitely follow you back. I also post a lot of photos with the items that I will be showing you guys in this video. So if you want to see how I style these items, please head over to my Instagram, which is again, very.snatch. Okay, so first thing first, I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard of the Hacker Project where Gucci and Balenciaga collaborate together. I really don't have to explain much because it was one of the biggest collaborations of last year. And of course, I have to get something since this is a very rare collaboration. And I have always wanted a Balenciaga belt since forever. So this time around, I made a decision to get this beautiful belt. I need to take it out of this box, but I wanted to show you guys the packaging is so pretty. It comes in a bag like this. This dust bag also has the Gucci print, but it's in the Balenciaga logo. And it comes with this and my receipt. Okay, so this is the belt. Look at the logo right here and then look at the print on the belt. Like I mentioned, I've always wanted a Balenciaga belt, so it's literally perfect to get a belt like this. I mean, it's going to be hard for me to style this piece, but I love giving myself a hard assignment to work with. So I'm very excited to give this a try and start styling this belt more often to see what I can do with this. Let's take a look at the receipt really quick because I actually don't remember the price. Okay, so for this belt, I actually looked online and they sold out of this belt. So I contact customer service because I really, really wanted this belt and the customer service team was kind enough to refer me to one of the employees in the store and the employee texted me and sent me the belt. The total is $457.94 and that's with tax. A little bit expensive. Okay, so speaking of Prada, I got a not Prada. Okay, so speaking of Balenciaga, I actually got this Balenciaga wheel bucket back in the color beige. As you can see, if I'm comparing this against my white background, it stands out. I don't know if it's beige or like vanilla, but it, it's in this really, really pretty color and it goes with every single outfit I've worn with this bag so far. So I still have the dust bag right here and I keep all the tissues inside to keep the shape of the bag and then it has this long strap for me to wear across the body like this. Let me quickly show you guys. So I can actually wear it like this which is like actually super cute, right? But for me, I only like holding the bag with its handle. I think it's funny to hold a bag like this. It looks like a toy, but at the same time, you're actually carrying a bag. And I love the nylon fabric of this bag so, so much. The reason why I love it is because it's super easy for me to clean and I will not have to worry about scratching the bag because it's literally nylon. If you wonder what I can fit in this bag, I can tell you right now I can fit a lot. I can fit my phone in here, my wallet in here, maybe a bottle of hand sanitizer, a small bottle of Jo Malone perfume. I can fit a lot. 
I love medium-sized bags because they are not too big to cover my whole outfits or not too small to go unnoticed. So this size is also the perfect size for me because I don't carry much. I don't carry my makeup or anything in my bag ever. I only carry my phone and my wallet. Okay, since we're on the topic of bags, here is another bag that I got as a gift for Christmas that I actually pick out myself. It is this Helliot Emerald bag in black. This bag was available during the summer of last year, but it was sold out in a short amount of time. So this time around when I saw it online, I was like, I need it. I can't really say much about the bag because I haven't worn it. As you can see, the tags are still hanging right here. The back is in black, so I'll be able to wear this with a lot of outfits. It also comes with a long strap. Again, I'm not gonna wear the back with the strap. I'm actually going to hold it back. I mean, here's the thing. It's okay if you are the type of person who wears your back. Okay, excuse me. I am filming and you're snoring really loud. I love 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 how to use this as the handle of the back and also I love this detail right here on the side of the back right here I love it so much if you don't know me I have a thing for a unique looking medium-sized back so this fits perfectly in my wardrobe so since I'm actually blind without my glasses, I'm very jealous of people that can just go shop for shades and it's just like, ooh, this is cute, I'm gonna take this. I have to pick a pair where they can turn into optical sunglasses. And I was only able to afford my Gucci shades two, three years ago, and it was like a buff they give to myself. It's because it's super expensive, they will have to shave down the lens, thin in the lens, then match the shades of the original lens. So it was like a lot of work for them and also it was kind of pricey for me. So I recently have enough savings to get a new pair of shades and let me show you something. It's from Prada of course because I've been obsessed with Prada lately and it comes in a case like this very chic and elegant okay you guys first of all before i put them on they shape the lens already but they're still thick as fuck like look how thick the lens are i fell in love with them when i first saw them and i begged the guy who works there to make it happen i was like can you please 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 turn these into optical classes because I really like these Prada shades. The thing is like this pair of shades is not that expensive. The expensive part is actually the fucking lens you guys. Like they cost me like almost a thousand dollars but you know what it, it was worth it because look at this. It looks so good. I love how big they are and they cover like half of my face just what I wanted. Okay, another fun item that I bought is this fuzzy hat that I found on Etsy. I love wearing hats lately and the more traumatic looking the hat, the fucking better. I always look for fun ways to elevate my outfits and even though the hat looks a little too much, there are a lot of ways you can wear this hat without looking too much, okay? And I have posted some photos of me wearing this hat. You can check them out on my Instagram page. But other than that, I mean, I have nothing to say about this hat. And I know that the fur is faux fur. So don't, please don't come for me. But look at this. Okay, I'm super excited to show you guys these two items. The first item is this pair of pants from this one store I found on Instagram called The Source Unknown. I will leave the link in the description box below. So it's this pair of crisscross suit trousers in this creamy white color. I love the illusion that it's giving right here. And let me show you how the pants work. There's an extra piece of fabric right here where you buckle it with a button I don't know if you guys can see with a button inside, you button it up like this and then now it will give the illusion of wearing two pairs of pants. 
So the fabric is a little thin, but it's not sheer. And this pair of pants fits me perfectly. They're in size small. So I got these on Black Friday and they were on sale for half off, which is $44. Because I love these so much, I decided to get another pair that is completely different. Is a pair, I mean, not completely different. It's the same design, but it's in denim. I don't know, I love the design so much. These one I got for 90 bucks and that is including tax and shipping. But it's because I got these full price and they were not on sale. I might be wrong, but I'll include the link in the description below so you guys can check it out. Okay, last but not least, I bought a pair of creepers recently as well. Also on Black Friday, these would look really, really cute with my Loewe jeans. I haven't worn them yet, but I will soon. I got these from TUK Shoes, or you can call it Tuck, or however you want to call it. So I got it on that website, and it's not my first time shopping on there. I have shopped on there multiple times before, and I remember the shoes back then, they were a little bit more heavier than these. Um, and I'm not complaining, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be super comfortable for me to walk in. These, I know I'm gonna wear these a lot. I used to shop on TUK or Tuck Shoes many times in the past, and I have bought over seven pair of shoes from them. And I have worn every single pair to death. So when I moved here to this new apartment, I literally threw everything away because they were destroyed to the point that I could not donate any of those. It would be embarrassing to donate them. So I was like, let's skip the embarrassment and just trash them. So I did. But now I'm slowly building my closet back up. So I got myself a new pair of TUK shoes. I mean, creeper shoes. And I'm super excited to wear these again. And that's it for this clothing haul. Thank you so, so much for watching. If it seems like I'm talking too fast, it's because I haven't filmed any videos in a long time. So I was very excited to film this video and I like had a lot to talk about. So if I talk really fast in this video, I'm really, really sorry. And I hope to see you guys in my next video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. Follow me on Instagram at very.snatch. I'll definitely follow you back. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!